Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my channel. Today, I invite the beautiful Chi Quinn to come back to my channel, lend me her canvas to create this makeup look for you. We had a lot of fun creating this look. I hope you enjoyed the look as well. Always give my channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumb up, share the video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skin first. The first product I use is a Summer Friday lip balm. This is one of the beautiful lip balm to prep before makeup, or you can do it to wear it overnight, during the day. It does have a little shine, so if you do wear a matte lipstick, you just blot it off before you apply your lipstick. The second product I'm using also from Summer Friday, the vitamin C and peptide eye cream. This is a very beautiful eye cream. It's helped to brighten and moisturize the eye area really well. Anti-aging and all these beautiful ingredients. And it is great to prep under makeup. You can wear for day or night as well. As I always say, be very gentle around the eye area. For serum, I'm using from a brand I discovered recently. It's called Do. I think, I hope it says it right. It's a Trinity Serum. This is a very beautiful skincare brand. They only have three products right now. The first one they have is the reusable eye mask this is great and the one I'm using right now is the serum this is very beautiful serum very hydrated help to brighten hydration anti-aging all the beautiful ingredient doesn't have any fragrance it is also really great under makeup as well you can use for day or night the last product i'm using is also from do it's called instant angel lipid rich moisturizer this is a great moisturizer everyday moisturizer it's very rich great under makeup you can wear it for day or night as well. It doesn't have any smell, but it has great ingredient. The texture is really, really beautiful. And it does have that little blurring effect as well. Always give your skin a lot of love. Give a little massage. I also gonna use this little vibrating machine. It's helped to depop, sculpted the face really well. It's from a makeup artist in LA named Julian Dempsey and this one you can actually really see how well it scoped the face when you use you spend five minutes in the morning it's actually really work I think once in a while I'm just gonna introduce to all these face tune that I'm using so if you have a chance to try them you should if you're not good at doing your own face massage, this is great for depopping, lymphatic drainage, lifting. And you can hear it vibrating. I 
I do recommend you do this after you have moisturized a serum so it's gliding a lot better. When you don't have any products, it tends to pull a little bit. So it's better when you have some kind of oil or serum or moisturizer in there first. If you have time, just spend a few minutes every morning if you can. For foundation and concealer, I'm going to use Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. This is absolutely beautiful foundation. It is very hydrating. The shade range is really great. And the concealer is Concealer Deal from Lawless. For the foundation, it is medium buildable coverage foundation, but you can actually cover the skin really, really well. Almost like to me, it's almost like a full coverage instead like a medium coverage. So if you use, if you need to cover a lot, you can if you want to. She have beautiful skin. I don't need to put too much. You see, that's all I'm gonna put and I blend it out. I'm using this kind of brush so you can really spread out the products. And you see the foundation is really nice, it's very hydrating and it's really luminous at the same time. The Nessa Myris is a very beautiful makeup brand. You guys should check it out if you love color. She has great complexion product, but she has a lot of different color products. Different texture from shine, matte, cream, all different kind of texture of colors in terms of eyeshadow, lips, cheeks. I mean, she has amazing shades range that you can check it out. As you saw earlier, I only put a few dots and that really all the foundation I use is very pigmented. A little go a long way. You don't need too much. For the concealer, I put mainly under the eye area and around the nose and the mouth area. I'm not gonna go all the way up because I like she has a little natural shadow there. I think that little shadow there it does make the eye look bigger sometime because if you cover too high up the eye does appear smaller She doesn't need anything else. She doesn't have any blemishes that I need to pinpoint. But if you want to see how I would cover acne or anything like that, you can watch the video I made recently regard step by step how to cover blemishes. For contour, I'm going to use the Tantour from Huda Beauty Shade Light. And she have amazing bone structure. I'm gonna use a little tantour to bring everything out. And I just do the usual, just around the jawline, the cheekbone, the hairline, and blend it out. I do the same on this side and then a little bit on the two sides of the nose. For powder, I'm going to use the translucent powder from Danessa Maris as well. I'm using the brush, a little bit under the eye area.
in the T-zone. For bronzer, I'm going to use this shade Brune bronzer from La Bouche Rouge. I don't think I say it's right, but we're gonna list it all the name on the screen and description box to make sure we got all the correct shades. And basically, I'm using the shade. Just go back to where I contour earlier to set it and add more dimension on it. Turn this way for me. You can see exactly where I shade the contour earlier and then doing this just to blend it out. I'm doing the same on the other side. For eyebrow, I'm going to use two products from M Cosmetic. The pencil in Deep Taupe and the brow cream in Prunette. She has beautiful eyebrow. I'm just gonna extend a little longer this way and a little full in the front. The best way I'm doing is just draw backward like this to get a lot of depth. I really love brow pencil because it's really fine so you can do really detail if you want to. And you see what I'm doing? I just draw them backward like this to get a lot more fullness just from that without a harsh line when you draw the other way. And then same color, I just make the eyebrow a little longer. They have deeper color as well, but I decide to use more a lighter shade because when the hair is dense like this, if you do a deeper pencil, it's actually look too dark. So I rather use a lighter pencil and it's still gonna give you the shape without looking too harsh. You see that even I use the pencil not too dark, it still look quite dark just because the depth of the hair already you have. So this is just like filled in more. So it's better just not too dark of the pencil color. I'm doing the same on the other side. So you can see that I do the same on the other side and I know it looks quite dark because she doesn't have eye makeup and blush or lips but I think once everything is done it will look quite beautiful together. I'm going to use the brow cream just to keep the eyebrow in place. I think this is great because sometimes you use the clear uh, gel and it have a lot of reflective and it's actually not good for camera flash at all. And this at least they have a color and it's whole really nice. And you see that, you know, she has all the little hair here. I didn't tweeze them, I leave it natural. And I think when you brush it all up, blend together with the way you draw, it actually look quite beautiful. Sometimes you don't have to tweeze everything because it looks harsh when it's like really painted on eyebrow and really clean. And I think the softness from the, her natural hair eyebrow, I think it's nice. The same on this side, I just brush everything up and it looks quite beautiful. For eye products, I'm going to use three products. The eyeliner and the sparkling eyeshadow from Victoria Beckham Beauty and the Lancome Lash It Doll Mascara. For the eyeliner, this is more like a goldy mustard brown color. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's quite a beautiful color. I just rim it all over the waterline, upper and lower. And you see that I just do a little bit on upper and lower waterline. Same pencil, I'm doing along the upper waterline as well. You are blending brush blend it out you guys see me do this kind of thing in many video I'm just doing this just for depth and you can use the finger smudge it out to you like I'm doing the same on the other side 
and it's the same color everything earlier I didn't add anymore I just use the brush and just soften the edges before I do the shadow on top next I'm using a flat brush close your eye and just put on over the crease area and blend it out to the brown bone so you fade it out you don't want to add any more color just whatever on the brush you brush it up to the brown bone I'm doing the same on the other side same brush same shadow color a little bit on the corner and a little bit along the lower lash line basically one and done shadow I'm not using more than one color the intensity of how light or how dark a color is really up to you you know along the lash line I go deeper and I just fade it out slowly same thing close your eye on top so I put more intense here and I just fade out on top here you don't need multiple color to create a lot of time you just need one color that's all you need you know a lot of people think that they have to have like three four shades or three or four different palettes to create an eye look no you don't you just one pencil one eye color and the intensity of how much color is based on how much you put product on the brush and how how much you press the product down you see that that's just one eyeshadow color and one pencil i always curl the lashes before i use mascara even just a little pinch i still recommend you to do it it does have to lift the eye up for mascara i'm using two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes because the look i'm doing quite intense on the lips that's why i keep the eye somewhat softer not too heavy on the liner or shadow and we just use one color i really like this mascara it does keep good volume but it's separated so it's not clumpy like most of them For highlight and blush, I'm going to use this tinted moisturizer blush from Laura Mercier and this highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. The tinted moisturizer blush is really beautiful. It's very sheer, so you can actually use it over your powder without disturbing your makeup. You can see that I put a little bit of time and you blend it out. Um, and you blend it out for highlighter I'm going to use a fan brush what I love about this because you have all these shades you can do individual shades or you can blend them all together and when we do very little around the cheekbone area where you want to keep more radiance on the skin leave it on the nose keep it bold you can just use the champagne color if it's up to you or you can use the pinky lighter color or you can blend them all together for lips i'm going to use these two products from lisa rich cosmetic this is like a bricky red color and the matching lip liner this is just a beautiful color. I think it's great on all skin tone. On all of skin tone, it's actually gonna be quite beautiful. To start, I'm going to outline the shape first. She has really beautiful lip shape. I'm not gonna change anything. I'm just gonna create a nice shape following her natural lip shape. See that I filled in the whole lips with the lip liner first before I even use the lipstick. 
you don't have to draw the whole thing like I did but I think for red lip I think it would be great to fill in all the way and it gives you a lot more depth as well the lips color is quite beautiful I think it's such a gorgeous lip shade and the texture is really fantastic To complete the look, I'm going to set the makeup with a setting spray from Hourglass. This is the final look guy. I hope you enjoy the look. I don't really know how to call this, which is, you know, we just play with the makeup as always. Hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumb up. And don't forget to follow Chi, myself, and my team on Instagram as well. Thank you again.